Hello and welcome to Daily Current Affairs by Neo IIS. Today is 25th September 2019 and the topics for discussion are Water Footprint, CHC Farm Machinery and Krishi Kisan App, Nolifenol, Methane Powered Rocket Engine by ISRO, Map Aided Program and Previous Year Question Revision Series. Coming to our first topic which is the Water Footprint. Now this is in news because the President of India is, has inaugurated the 6th India Water Week in 2019 at the Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi. Now, uh, we'll talk a bit, bit more about this. Now, it is, it is being organized by the Department of Water Resources, River Development and uh, Ganga Rejuvenation and the Ministry of, uh, by the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Now, the theme of the India Water Week 2019 is Water Cooperation that is coping with the 21st century challenges. Now, we'll talk about what is water footprint. Now, <coughs> now, the water footprint measures the amount of water used to produce each of the goods and services that we use. Now, it can be measured for a single process such as growing rice, uh, that is then also for a pair, of, for a product like, you know, growing, developing a pair of jeans for fuel that we put in the car and the entire multinational company, for example. Now, the water footprint can also tell us how much water is being consumed by a particular country or globally in a specific river basin or from an aquifer. Now, uh, water footprint can be measured in cubic meters per ton of production, per hectare of cropland, per unit of currency and in other functional unit as per the situation. Now, the water footprint helps us understand for what purpose our limited freshwater resources are being consumed and or polluted. Now, we'll talk about the different types of uh, the water footprint. Coming to the first one, which is the green water footprint. Now, this is the water from precipitation that is stored in the root zone of the soil and evaporated, transpired or incorporated by plants. Then comes the blue water footprint. Now, it is that, uh, it is that water that has been sourced from the surface or ground wa groundwater resources and is either evaporated or incorporated into the product. Then finally, grey water footprint is the amount of fresh water required to assimilate pollutants to meet specific water quality standards. Now, we'll talk about the water footprint network. The water footprint network is a platform for collaboration between companies, organizations and indiv individuals to solve the world's water crisis by advancing fair and smart water use. Now, coming to our next topic, which is the CHC Farm Machinery and Krishi Kisan app. Now, this is the news because the Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has launched two mobile applications. These are the CHC Farm Machinery and the Krishi Kisan app for geotagging in New Delhi. Coming to the first application, that is the CHC Farm Machinery application. Now, this is a multilingual mobile application that is called the CHC Farm Machinery and is available to custom service providers for registration and uploading with geo-reference photographs of agricultural machinery. Through CHC Farm Machinery applications, uh, farmers can select and order the required machinery at feasible rate from the custom hiring centers located in the radius of within 50 kilometers. More than 40,000 custom hiring cent uh, custom service centers have been registered on this mobile application and this is this will not only increase the income of farmers but will also take care of the machine mechanization to maximum far holdings in a short time frame. Coming to the next application which is the Krishi Kisan app. Now it will provide farmers the information of best demonstration of high yielding crops and seeds in the nearby area. Any farmer with high quality of crops can utilize this platform to demonstrate best practices of cultivation to other farmers so that this will be, this will be helpful for other farmers also to adopt these new methods. Now the app will also help in geotagging and geofence fencing of crop and give weather forecast messages to the farmers. Coming to our next topic, which is the nolifenol. Now, this is a news because the nolifenol content in tapi is more than 8 times beyond the limit, which is according to one study. Now, we will talk about nolifenol, which is uh, given abbreviation of NP. Now, nolifenol is a persistent toxic bioaccumulated chemical. Now, NP is also, you know, known to be an endocrine disruptive chemical 
which is hazardous to the environment and human health. Uh, besides this, it is also posing serious threat to the aquatic life and other fauna in the region. Now, the chemical that ha uh, has also been found to have a number of adverse reproductive and hormonal effects in the human beings and can cause carcinogenic effects on the body. Its exposure through water, soil and food crops may result in burning sensations, cough, laboured breathing, sore throat, unconsciousness, skin irritations and burns. Now, upon indigestion, it can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea and sore throat and it is also a toxic for aquatic animals. Norylphenol has amphibolytic properties and is, and is substan substantially used as a surfactant in the textile industry. Considering its harmful effect, Norylphenol has been highly regulated in many countries including the United States, European Union and China. Now, the Bureau of, uh, Bureau of Industry Standards, that is the BIS, has set the standard of uh, phenolic compounds in drinking water to be uh, 0.001 mg per litre and surface water at 5 mg per litre. However, unlike other countries, India does not have specific standards for normal phenol in drinking water and surface water. Coming to our next topic which is the methane powered rocket engine by ISRO. Now this is the news because the space agency is developing two liquid oxygen oxidizer and methane fuel engines. Now as of now uh, ISRO currently prefers to use the fuel cell called unsymmet unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine along with nitrogen tetraoxide for oxidizer. Now it's in this uh, liquid uh, fuel engine that is the Vikas engine which are used to the lower stages, used in the lower stages of the rockets that is of PSLV and GSLV. Now this fuel like all hydrazine based fuels is highly toxic and is cancer causing. Now uh, methane, why they are choosing methane based uh, fuel for the rockets is that methane which can be synthesized, uh, synthesized uh, with water and carbon dioxide in space is often described as a space fuel for the future. Apart from being non-toxic, it has a higher specific impulse. Now this means 1 kg of gas can lie 1 kg of mass for a longer time. Okay, It is easier to store, does not leave a residue upon burning, is less bulky and importantly it can be synthesized up in space also. Now coming to the map aided program, today we will be talking about the Mukundara Tiger Reserve. Now Mukundara Tiger Reserve is a tiger reserve in Rajasthan, it is very close to Kota in Rajasthan and it was announced as a tiger reserve by government of India in August of 2012. Now earlier it was actually called Mukundara Hills National Park. Now this tiger reserve actually comprises of two wildlife sanctuaries and one national park. Now these are the Chambal Wildlife Sanctuary, Jawahar Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary and the Dara National Park. Now this tiger reserve was the hunting place, initially the hunting pl place or the preserve which belonged to the Maharaja of Kota. Now coming to the next area which is the previous year question revision series. Now I will read out the question, uh, which one of the following group of plants was domest domesticated in the new world and then introduced into the old world. Option A, tobacco, cocoa, rubber, then comes option B, tobacco, cotton and rubber, option C, cotton, coffee and sugar cane and finally option D, rubber, coffee and wheat. So. This is a relatively easy answer to uh, easy question to answer actually. Uh, the answer for this question is option A that is tobacco, cocoa and rubber. It is simple because you can identify cotton and wheat. See cotton is present in option B and C and wheat is present in option D. You can eliminate these two and therefore uh, the option that we are left with is option A. You know cotton was uh, very famous in India one uh, you know before the, even the British came and that is one of the reason what major attraction for the British to come to the Indian uh, soil and after that wheat also was heavily uh, cultivated in India after the Indus, uh, Indus Valley pre, uh, period or some uh, remnant of wheat and barley has been found in the Indus Valley civilization regions also. So obviously the answer for this question would be option A. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any doubts or queries you can write down in the comment section below. Thank you. Thank you.